I know this isn't very topical because I kind of missed the news when it first came by, but yay rainbow flag, yay equal rights, because the Supreme Court of the United States of America has now made it completely legitimate to say the next time your girlfriend asks to get married, to say, that's so gay. Did you say that's okay? No, no, that's not. Gay marriage. What is the point? Do these people not know what marriage is for? Oh, they want to express their love for each other. Can't they already do that? Don't they already do that? Love is nothing to do with marriage. In fact, through the ages, love has been the mortal enemy of marriage. I mean, what's the point? Your mother and father have been scheming since you were born to align their lands with your uncle's lands so that they would have both a commanding view of the valley and a rich arable plain below. When all of a sudden, little Princess Romantic elopes with the pie maker's boy. That's so annoying. No, marriage isn't about love. Marriage is, is because of a peculiarity of mammalian breeding. And that is, anything that comes out of a female is probably closely related to her. Which is true until very recently, when science and technology can get around that bit. But, but that's fundamental. Whatever comes out of the mum is the mum's baby. But the dad doesn't know. And so when you're trying to figure out how to split up your stuff among the kids that you think are yours, you want to be sure that they're your kids. That's what marriage is. It's about pedigrees. It's a breeding contract. It gives a male exclusive access to one female's womb. Well, not necessarily one, but you know, the, the way it goes is a male's exclusive access to that womb so that he can be sure everything that comes out of it is his. That way, he's guaranteed to be looking after his own kids. He's guaranteed to be giving his stuff away to his own kids. That's what marriage is all about. It's about making sure the right people get your stuff. I mean, the clue is in the fowls, right? What's the time limit on marriage? Till death do us part, right? So that's very strange for a creed that believes that life keeps going on after you die. But surely you can still keep loving a person after they're dead and then you'll meet them again and still love them. Now, why do they put the time limit on it? Because there are two things, at least, that you can't do when you're dead. One is to breed and the other is inherit. Marriage is a contract with the state to enforce that exclusive access. In fact, traditional marriage, as far as I'm concerned, died when they stopped stoning people for adultery.